Should you be using straps on your hydrofoil? Today, I'm gonna to be breaking down if straps are right for you. Let's get into it. All right, guys, if you are new to foiling, I do not recommend wearing straps. Falling is part of the game when it comes to learning how to wake foil. It's really important that when you take those first couple of falls, you wanna get as far away from the board as possible. And straps can prevent you from doing so. So to stay safe when you're learning how to hydrofoil, don't use straps. Moving on, if you are an intermediate or advanced rider, straps could be a great option for you. If you're looking to do more aggressive carves or get into airs, straps are great because with carving, you can actually use the bottom of your foot and the top of your foot when you're using straps, helping you to do more aggressive maneuvers. And if you're trying ollies, backflips, 360s, whatever you might be trying with your wake foil, getting into the air is a lot easier with straps on because it prevents your board from flying away when you get out of the water. It also helps on recovery when you're trying to ride out from a maneuver like a backflip or 360. For the final type of riding today, I do not recommend wearing straps when you're learning how to dock start. It's already a super hard maneuver to learn, and then you add straps on top of that mix, and it's gonna make your life terrible. Save yourself some hassle, and do not try to use straps when you're first learning how to dock start. Now it's time for you to decide if riding with straps is right for you. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave those in the comment section below, or contact us at mattkiteboarding.com. This has been Cole from Matt Kite and happy shredding and I look forward to seeing you guys in other YouTube videos.